This is SAT test 3, non-calculator question number 12. College Board gives us a quadratic equation and asks, if the vertex is at coordinate CD, what is the value of D? In this case, we want to find the vertex. And one thing I can do, since A equals 1 gives me different answers in each case, I could simply rewrite it as Y equals X minus 2, X plus 4. The correct answer for A equals 1 will be the correct answer for all A. And I'm going to do that. It's not significantly more work if I leave A in there. But it's easy to think about here. My x-intercepts are x equals 2 and x equals negative 4. x-intercepts occur when y equals 0. So x minus 2, x plus 4 equals 0. Either the first factor is 0, so x equals 2, or the second factor is 0, so x equals negative 4. If I subtract 4 from both sides, and the vertex is midway between the x-intercepts. The midpoint between x equals 2 and x equals negative 4 is at x, I'm going to call that c because that's the x-coordinate vertex, equals 2 plus negative 4 over 2 is negative 2 over 2 equals negative 1. And now I can find the y-coordinate, which is d, which is substituting in negative 1 for x, negative 1 minus 2 times negative 1 plus 4, which is negative 3 times 3 equals negative 9. When a equals 1, d equals negative 9, so that would be choice A. If I had left the A in, I would have gotten the same answer, but with it multiplied by A. I think it's easier to look at it without the A. College Board will typically ask you to rewrite a polynomial expression like this. So come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.